Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Blogaroo video for you. I guess they call it a vlog, uh, not a blog a -roo. Anyway, it's Audix, uh, United Strings of Europe. So recently we did Angel Strings. I know uh, Simeon covered that. You guys loved that. So let's check out United Strings of Europe. They're fully featured string library where Angel Strings is more in effect. So uh, let's check it out. I was very impressed with this. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like and then we'll kind of talk about it more. So, wow, that was really, really nice. So I started off with the long, slow strings that kind of, uh, you know, nice sweeping sound. You get legato, you get harmonics, and then the end has a really nice, uh, punchy, spiccato type sound. Now, let's go in and examine a little bit here. So here's the interface, United Strings of Europe. Now the key switches here are polyphonic, you know, sustains. We have legato, then a separate key switch for portamento, which gives it that um, nice slur between notes. All right, so it's a very nice legato sound, and it's nice to have that portamento. Just press the key switch, and it will engage that for a nice, more buttery, smooth kind of swooping sound. So then we have the trem. And harmonics, which I used uh, to very good effect, I believe, in the intro with those violas. So the harmonics are going to be a really nice, silky, delicate, beautiful sound. And then we have trills. Now, trills are done a bit differently with this library. So, you know, most of the string libraries I've noticed, we have whole tone and half tone trills uh, within one note, meaning that you press one note on the keyboard and it triggers that. There was a better word I was trying to search for and I couldn't find it. So, uh, trills for this, you hold down two keys if you look here uh, at my 
playing hand. So you simply hold down those two notes and it will decide whether you're doing a half tone or a whole tone. It's a nice way to implement trills just by holding two keys. All right, then we have staccato, which is the longest of the short notes here. Let me turn off my mic so you don't hear me pressing the keys as much. Also over here, uh, you can adjust the attack, the ADSR controls for those short notes um, to get them a little bit more punchy. But again, staccato is not what I used in the ending there, with which was really, really punchy. That was the sautille or salty, I don't really know how to say it, but that is a spiccato sound. Let's check it out. So the uh, the saltile there uh, does really really nice you know quickly accented punctuated notes just like this. And you could hear as I was playing it, uh, really nice dynamic range there for the short notes as well. Um, so let's kind of check out the tracks. It kind of shows everything um, as, as far as the most used long and short notes. So the cello and the bass, the bass is cello, celli and the bass is handle the legato notes on the lower end uh, right here. Let's listen to that. So I really like uh, the legato with this, um, and, and just the tone, the, the timbre of the instruments is very, very nice. I'm just using the default mics here, uh, but as you can see, we have quite a few here. These are just uh, the tree mics, which is you know the, the typical standard mic, but you can also enable up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different mic positions there, which is very nice. Now, also you can adjust the legato length and the portamento length there to get uh, the transitions a bit fine-tuned. So again, let's check out the legato up here because this shows off um, kind of the the agile nature of the legato. We can play these really nice, uh, you know, thirds here and harmonize with the first and second violins, and it sounds very, very nice. So when you add it with, you know, the long harmonics as well as the cello and bass line, it really comes to life and you get a very uh, smooth, sweeping, kind of romantic sound. It's very beautiful.
So that is a look at United Strings of Europe from Audict, full-fledged orchestral string library. Lots of articulations, beautiful, realistic sound. Not only very nice, smooth legatos and sustains, but really nice, punchy short notes that will be great for action. So this library can really do it all when it comes to strings. If you are lacking a solid-sounding, realistic orchestral string library, this is an absolute no-brainer. So thank you guys for checking this one out with me. Uh, we will be back for more, so make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned, turn on that notification button, and be sure to look out for your emails so when we go live and have our giveaways, you will be informed. So thanks so much. I will see you next time.